Hey guys, Gray here again. And the good old uh, ranch sim. Got a little bitty thing here. It's a little hack. Um, make life easier. Um, for those of you that want to run pigs. Got a little hack for pigs and chickens at this present moment. Um, one thing I've noticed is the pigs love the second you hit the button on them they will jump out the side of the truck and run. Well, that gets a little bit aggravating when you got to chase them and, you know, you're sitting there clicking E trying to get a hold of them. I uh, got a little hack for you. Works pretty good. Um, of course, all the children are asleep right now. Except this one. I might as well take him and do it. But, uh, if you notice... He's not being nice. Come on. Come on, Piggy. Alright, Mr. Pig's out the door. We'll close that door, and we're going to load him up in a truck just for instructional video's sake. Everybody else is waking up. Now, if you notice, every time that you open it, the, the gate up, the pigs will just automatically shoot toward it. They want out. Okay? Um... But I'm going to show you the first things first. This is the chicken hack. Okay? Take three logs, stack them up right in front of the door. One, the pigs can't get in. The chickens cannot get out. If you do have pigs in here with your chickens, and this is a way to get them on an automatic feeder. This is why I did this. Okay? I don't have a chicken house right now because I destroyed it. I uh, got really fed up with having to throw bags into the boxes all the time. And, you know, I only got the two that I started with. But I imagine you could throw probably mm, 10 or 12 in here easily. And the water stays full, and so does the food. And all you have to do is keep telling the bin to refill. Um, you do not want a pig in a stall. Uh, they get too big to come through the door. And then when you got to kill them and get the meat, uh, the meat goes straight up through the roof it doesn't bounce off it comes down on top of the roof and then you have to build a set of stairs to get up on the roof which teetotally stinks okay they got to figure something out about that but anyhow when you got pigs in here keep the door shut but that's a way to keep your chickens fed and watered all the time they're not going to die on you because they starve to death that's number one uh, also the stalls don't let the pigs in there. Uh, once they fatten out and get to where they can't make it through the doorway, you're screwed. They will not come through the doorway, and you'll end up killing them, and then you'll end up with pieces of meat on a roof and aggravated because you got to build a set of steps out of logs. Turn him loose. Open his door. Close the door. Here's my other little hack. Um, these are just kind of what I've seen. Um, I saw a guy doing this with the chickens. He put up kind of a free range thing with three tall. And the chickens won't go over the top of it. Well, truth be, three tall, the pigs won't go over the top of it. But also, neither will your truck. Um, neither one of the pickups will go over the top of it. And... I kept noticing, you know, every time I get in and out, it throws me right here on the side. Well, that means that's where the pig's going to get thrown out, or they always do. Uh, why can't I make it to where I can capture them before they go running across the yard and I end up having to chase pigs down? Well, this works really nice. Now, getting them out of the barn, they will not come through that door when they're big size. They'll come to the door, and they're stuck. They're just too big to come through the door. Which, I don't know that if that was by design or what. But before this guy grows up and can't get back through the door, we're going to show you what we did. Okay, get your truck real close to that front one. 
and you're going to back up. And if you notice, I only set up two back here in the back. It's only two tall back there. Okay. There's three tall right next to the truck. And then this right here that's behind the wheel is only two. That's so that tail light will make it over the top of it. If it's three tall, it won't go across it. But you open up the back of the truck and you've got your young hogs on here and you're like, man, I gotta chase them again. I gotta jump down real quick and run to the side. Flink. La da dee dee, close the doors. Take my dear sweet time. He didn't go anywhere. You know why he didn't go anywhere? He can't go under the truck. Okay, that's not in the mechanic yet. Uh, if they ever make that, then this is screwed. But guess what? He's stuck in here. Now you can open up the door and he will actually walk on in there all by his little lonesome. Isn't that cool? When you load out, if you're going to dispatch them right here, um, you can. Uh, but be prepared to be climbing up on the roof to get the meat down. What I do is I back up to the big gate out here and I open it toward the inside. Try to get all your pigs inside the barn first before you do this. But open this gate up inward. And if you open it like that, it opens inward. You have to be on the outside to open it inward and on the inside to open it outward. I think that makes sense. Anyhow, uh, I back my truck up right in the gate so that it can't get out. They can't go into the truck, so they have to come to the back of the truck. Bring them to the back of the truck, load them up, take them to the market live if you want, or dispatch them when you get them to the back of the truck and just toss the meat up in the truck. In the box truck, Things do not have to be secured for it to stay in it. Uh, I had this thing stacked about that tall all the way down with meat. I could not hardly get out. It was stacked high enough. Took it in, sold it all. It was like six, seven thousand dollars and I'll show you because all I did was started, I started off with two pigs. I built the barn right away and I started off with them stupid two chickens. Uh, didn't really want them, but you have to get them for the tutorial and let them grow up, took them to market on the, eight, or the UTV, dispatched them over there, took all their meat, threw it in, bought more pigs and I'm just turning over pigs, turning over pigs, turning over pigs. And my last trip, we have, try it back here, there's three little anchors back here, there's four, there's two more, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got a dozen. Now, to get to this point, I had to do some major hunting in the beginning. Okay, I had to do some major hunting uh, to get this guy. Once I got up the money to get the box truck, uh, the rest of it comes real quick. As long as you roll over what you're making into just pigs. Pigs and feed, pigs and feed, pigs and feed. Go do a little hunting. See, I'm $21 into getting feed, so... I just paid $21 out, but look at how much I've made. $10,960, okay, $10,000. And this has been um, two day, two and a half day grind. Okay, had to get up the money for the box truck. But, you know, hey. And I built the barn bigger. I bought this. 
and these these uh, barn extensions are a buck and a quarter a piece, 125, 125 a piece, and there's three of them. I bought those three, and I bought this, and I bought the truck. Okay, I still got the UTV over there in the lawnmower, but that's all I bought. Okay, I didn't buy anything else. When I was doing my hunt and I was doing it in the UTV, I'd fill this bed just as full as I can get it. And there is a little hack for this too. If you get up here on top and you don't stand in your own way, you can put boards on top. Now you can put meat on top of those boards. Okay? You can put a lot of meat on top of those boards. Plus, you can put meat in the back. Loaded down. Full. I was popping... Six or seven hundred dollars each time. Okay, so I did some really heavy duty hunting for about a whole day. And not just game days. I'm talking about, you know, six hours of gameplay and loaded her down took it to the market loaded her down took it to the market loaded her down took it to the market came back built one extension on and bought the uh, silo and the windmill and the fence went out hunted about I got really lucky too because there was one game day just a game day I filled that booger up in one game day and that was just running along the southeast edge grizzlies will run at you remember it takes four shots to drop them uh, but hey I'm gonna tell you what grizzly bears paid for all this and uh, two wolves and countless deer okay uh, probably I bet you I killed at least 40 bears, 35, 40 bears to pay for this, okay? Because you get four meat off each bear. And that's 35 bucks a swat every time you get one of those chunks of meat. So, you know, it's worth it. Uh, I am going with hogs on this build because simple fact of, uh, I want to see how it does. And so far... It's not a chore factory. Uh, I've got 12 hogs out here now. When I kill all these, I'll have uh, 20, 24, somewhere in there uh, the next time around. So it'll be four trips, five trips to the uh, general store to get hogs, bring them in, fatten them up, kill them off, and then I'll see where I'm at. But this little hack right here makes unloading your new hogs a breeze you don't have to chase them they walk right into the barn you close the door you're done and you can haul them in by the truckload boom 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 one right after the other doesn't work too good with the UTV because they still try to escape but hey with the truck it works alright that's it for this hack guys I'm hoping this was a Good short video. Um, more to come. Uh, you guys will have uh, free range pretty soon. I may do free range chickens. I don't know yet. Because I'm just, I'm not into toting the bags. The bags are a pain in the butt. Okay, auto feeders on the chicken. When they do the auto feeders on the chicken coops, I might do chickens. But chickens are a chore factory. And so are the cows. So far, the only thing that's made me good money without taking up all of my day to take care of those animals is hunting in pigs. Because pigs, all you got to do is walk around and pick up the poop and keep the food troughs full. And with this, all you got to do is hit buy. And that feeds them and waters them. So, yeah, not a chore factory. Plus, you can do, you know, little 
dumb stuff like this. It may not be dumb stuff to y'all, but it's kind of hokey to me, but hey, it works. Uh, every good uh, pig farm has a chute, and every good cattle farm has a cattle ranch has a chute, so a pig ranch can have a chute too. Maybe we'll get goats and sheep and stuff like that pretty soon. That'd be a good thing. Then I'll be a goat herder and a sheep herder. That sounds like a winner, doesn't it? All right, folks. Great seeing you. Thanks for stopping in, and always thank you for watching. Um, hope I helped somebody. If I did, you know, hey, drop a like. Hit the subscribe. Make sure you pop on the bell and tell the bell you want all the content. And um, drop a comment in the comments. Always glad to hear from everybody. Uh, I do shout outs on new subscribers. I have not had any in the past couple days. So if you want to hear your name, come on one of my videos and be immortalized on YouTube. Uh, make sure you let me know uh, whether or not you want to hear your last name. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to give last names unless you want to hear it. But, uh, Ricky was my last shout out and I did a shout out on one of my uh, Automation Empire uh, videos for Ricky and Ricky you know who you are man thanks for subscribing he's my newest subscriber so hey and Joseph thanks for the comment y'all take care have a good one my favorite statement is what do I normally say night night <laughs>